Chapter 7, Lesson 3, Essential Question. How can you find the product of a fraction and a whole number without using a model? As we work through today's lesson, the algorithm that they show you is going to be slightly different than what I showed you yesterday with putting your whole number um, over a 1. But you're going to end up with the same answer, so you can choose either way to do it. So let's just get started. Charlene has five one-pound bags of different colored sands. For an art project, she will use three-eighths of a pound of each bag of sand to create a colorful sand art jar. How much sand will be in Charlene's sand art jar? Underline what you're being asked to find, circle the important information, and see if you can answer the questions in this green rectangle. You should have underlined how much sand will be in the jar, circled three-eighths of a pound, and then circled five one-pound bags. This is going to be our whole number because five times one is five. And so, um, and then how much sand is in each bag? One pound. Will Charlene use all of the sand in each bag? No. Um, that's where the three-eighths comes in. So our sentence is going to end up being five times three-eighths. Now this is a model part and this is the record part. The record part is going to be the algorithm that we'll actually just be using. This model is to show you how the algorithm works. So right here we have five times three-eighths. That's what that picture is. So that's five times three-eighths. So we need to find five groups of three-eighths size pieces. And that's what they did right here. There's five with three-eighths. So on each of these rectangles, fill in three of the eight pieces. So I shaded in three of each eight piece. So now, if we look right here, it says multiply the number of eighth size pieces in each hole by five. Then write the answer as a total number of eight size pieces. So I could go, well, that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, or I could say that's three times five, or five times three. And so we're going to write it right here. We're going to just write five times three. So all we did now is basically write the whole number times the numerator over the same denominator. And then we know that 5 times 3 equals 15, and those piece sizes are eighths. Then we, they would rearrange the shaded pieces to fill in as many holes as possible. So that's reducing the fraction. So how many does it take to fill in all of it? It takes 8. So if we filled in one hole, that's 8. But we need 15, so that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we filled in one hole and then 7 eighths. And if we write, write, look right here, we have 15 eighths. How many eighths are in 15? There is one. That leaves us with 7 left over and our denominator of 8. So how many pounds of sand will be in Charlene's sand art jar? There will be 1 and 7 eighths eighths pounds. So remember, right now, really the only thing that we've changed up, we had our five times three eighths. All we did was times the whole number times the numerator and then keep the denominator the same. Okay, let's do another example. Kirsten brought in four loaves of bread to make sandwiches for the class picnic. Her classmates used two thirds of the bread. How many loaves of bread were used? Press pause, underline what you're being asked to find, and circle the important information. You should have underlined how many loaves were used, and then um, four loaves is your whole number, and two-thirds was used. That's the, in the two important numbers. So that would end up with your problem being two-thirds times four. Um, now here's your model. They have four loaves, four holes right here, and they need to be divided into threes. The denominator's three. So press pause and divide each of these into three, and then shade in two-thirds of each loaf. Okay, 
so yours should look something similar to this. And so now we need to multiply 4 by the number of third size pieces in each hole. How many did we shade in? We shaded in 2. Uh, so we have 2 times how many loaves? The whole number was 4. And what size pieces were they? They're thirds. There's 3 in each. And now, so how many did we shade in total? 2 times 4 equals 8. And what size are they? They are thirds. So we have 8 thirds. But now they want to know how many loaves were used. So we need to rearrange our colored pieces, our 8 colored pieces, to fill in as many of these. These still need to be divided into thirds. So divide these into thirds and then shade in 8, filling up whole, as holes as you go. What I did, instead of just like shading it in, I actually just wrote my numbers to count them as shaded in, so I made sure I got eight. So if I look, I shaded in this whole one, this whole one, and then the two pieces of that. So my mixed number, I can see right here that there's one, two holes, so two holes and two thirds. So if we write that in the record area, eight thirds, if we reduce that, how many threes are in eight? Well, there's two, that gives me six, and then what's left over? Two, and what's our denominator? Three. And so our final answer, how many loaves were used? There were two and two thirds loaves of bread used. This next question, they're just trying to get you to think. Um, would we have the same amount of bread if we had four groups? There should be a four in there. If we had four groups of two thirds of a loaf. And so there, this one would have been four times two thirds. So basically they're asking is two thirds times four the same as four times two thirds? And the answer of course is yes because of the commutative property. So looking at the try this. Find the product and write the product in the simplest form. So yes, you do have to reduce. So looking at A, four times seven eighths and B, five ninths times 12. Let's set this one up. We can go four times seven over eight equals what? And then B, I'm gonna have you set up on your own. Solve both A and B. Your final answer should have been three and a half and six and two thirds. Press pause while you work on the share and show. You have four problems for the share and show to work on. So on number one, they walked through this, you through the steps, multiply the numerator and the whole number, write it over the denominator, there's your answer, and then reduce it as a mixed number to the simplest form. So number two, if we follow the same steps, we take our numerator times our whole number over the denominator, multiply it out, 10 thirds, how many threes in 10? There are three, that's nine. So we would have one left over, over the denominator of three. So three and one third. We look at number three. Again, whole number six times the numerator two over the denominator of three. Multiply that out. That's 12 over three. How many threes are in 12? four, so your answer is just four in that case. And number four, go five, the numerator times the whole number over the denominator. Five times four is 20 over seven. How many sevens are in 20? There are two, so that's 14. What's the remainder? Six, 
sevenths. Two and six sevenths. Double check your work if you made some mistakes, then work on your other tasks.